What's up, y'all? It's Sam coming at you live. We're on our way to Minnesota for round three of stem cells. I can't even begin to explain how excited I am. So I want to share the moment with y'all. So I'm going to look at this journey as a way to reset some things in my reality, some personality traits, some habits, some things that I just haven't been giving as much effort as I know I should. As a way for me to hold myself accountable, I think that there's a lot more left on the table when it comes to rehabilitation efforts. Putting in like extra hours, working a lot smarter and uh, ultimately just turning turning my work ethic up a few notches and outworking this wheelchair. So if you're into stuff like that, follow along for some more crazy updates as we go for round three of stem cells. Shout out to my boy Dustin and Tim with the Good Fight Foundation for allowing me this awesome opportunity and a great God for giving me so many blessings along this journey. Inner Animal out. What's up, y'all? So we made it out to Minnesota. I'm about to go over to Reju Medical and start the process. They said this was the first heavy snow of the entire year. Of course, it had to happen right whenever us Cajuns get to town. Well, y'all, we made it. We're at Reju Medical in St. Cloud, Minnesota, and it's a little cold. I have a newfound respect for uh, the other homies in wheelchairs in these northern states because pushing in the snow is not for the weak. I got stuck. This clown is like laughing her ass off. I'm freezing my hands off trying to get out of this snow. I want to go back home. I missed the swamp. We're going to try to decrease some inflammation in your body. So decrease inflammation is going to be important. Yeah, so what we want to do is um, do everything possible to do that. So there are some medications that can do that. And so basically there's macrophages. Macrophage is an inflammatory cell. It can either be uh, bad or it can be good. So there's different types of macrophages, and you want them. So the bad macrophages are called M1 macrophages. The good ones are called M2. After injuries and such, these guys tend to dominate, and they cause degeneration, loss of function, bad stuff in the body. The goal is to try to get as many of those macrophages to convert to the M2 macrophage. Because the M2 macrophages promotes healing, promotes regeneration, and all those types of things. So we're finding with things like arthritis, um, Chronic neurologic disorders like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, you just kind of get chronic neurologic disorder because it's a damaged spine. We do as much as possible to get the M1 macrophage or the M2 to convert to an M M1. There are some studies with spinal cord injuries and a medication called minocycline that actually helps um, recovery better after a spinal cord injury. And I also did some research that minocycline also converts the bad macrophage to a good macrophage. So I'm going to put down some minocycline, which can help make healthier macrophages that can decrease bad inflammation and help the healing process. And in the study, should you combine that minocycline with a supplement called CoQ10. Is that, is that like an amino acid? CoQ10 is like an, it's an enzyme, actually. It's over the counter. Um, it's 100 milligrams once a day. I'll write that down for you. 100 milligrams once a day plus the doxycycline. That's also 100 milligrams. We're going to do that one once a day as well. Uh, that combination can be helpful as far as, you know, getting you to heal. I mean, I've been putting everybody on it the last couple of years, and it seems like it's very helpful. Uh, the only side effect the minocycline, it makes you a little more sun sensitive. So just make sure you're taking, like, an antibiotic, or excuse me, a probiotic with it. Okay. You know, probiotics are, like, mm -hmm. bacteria. Kind of help, helps with your, uh, your, your gut health yep. and all that stuff, your bacteria. Yep, yep, yep. So do a probiotic with that one. Yeah. So we'll get going with that. Once a day, give them 90 days of a refill. And so question, so I know you said with inflammation, now we have two, two markers, a good or bad. So in inflammation, kind of essentially how we're approaching with the stem cells, like we get my, my spinal cord injury or injured area inflamed, and then we're sending the cells in to kind of help the body with the repair process. Would that make the stem cells kind of like the M2? Or is that yeah, just M2, like a- Yeah, stem cells are gonna be more of a promoting uh, healthy inflammation. Stem cells have also been shown to convert the bad macrophage to the good macrophage as well. Yes, yeah, so there's some stem cell studies showing that it modulates the macrophage to be a healthier macrophage. Yep. Awesome. Yep, they all try and do the same thing. Yep. Omega 3s, so uh, fish oil has been shown to kind of do similar stuff. Uh, the CoQ10, which I'm putting you on, similar stuff. Okay. Yeah, so that's why we're doing all this. Are we doing some Omega 3s too? Yeah, I was about to say, I think they got the whole supplement pack. Yep. And I noticed some of the. Um, Peptides changed. Uh, is that just, I guess, new research? No, the reason for this, those two, the BPC-157 and thymus and beta, those are the two ones that are helpful for healing and repair. 
And those are the ones that the FDA allows you to take. The other ones you can't get anymore. Oh, no yeah. kidding. So the two that we got, those are the two good ones anyways, but those you can take uh, as well. So the Shockwave uh, has been shown to help with um, blood flow, uh, healing. Um, it helps with all those things. I'll probably do, there's one area, I don't know if you want to film this part or not because it's all like private stuff. But, uh, but yeah, that'll help with blood flow. The, um, the Shockwave, I'm going to do that uh, kind of right around the prostate area because there's a whole plexus of nerves around that area. That help with sensation and, and all that kind of sexual stuff too. So right. I'll treat the shockwave around the prostate. So that's just extra space in between the testicles and the anus. There's a little space there of skin. I'm gonna put a shockwave there too. Okay. We get the uh, rest of the um, penis and stuff for blood flow with that before so, we do the shock. So is the PRP like for the penis or is that for like the pelvic floor, like the underneath muscles? Uh, it'll get some of your Kegel muscles, the ones that you use for Kegels. Are also gonna be shot with the shockwave. So it helps those muscles, and I'm also gonna do the pelvic floor. The shockwave too. Yeah, that's that's what I was most excited about, man. And like yeah. I said, if I that's if I could eliminate the whole the bathroom problems, yeah. I'm gonna run marathons yeah. at least mentally. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. Other questions you guys have? Um. Well, I'm. Whenever I go back to the house, I'm gonna outline some uh, for like the podcast or whatever tomorrow. It's where I'll be kind of structured. I've been having a ton of people inquire, and it's like uh, I don't want to do them a disservice by telling them something wrong. So I just tell them, hey, look, this might help. Yeah. Um. So you know, stuff like. Is it the same benefit potentially for a complete injury or incomplete and all those types of things like that? Uh, mainly spinal cord injury related. Yeah, no. With the with the spinal cord stuff, there's not a lot of research on, on spinal cord injury for stem cells. So, um, yeah, there's not a lot of research there. We have just a ton of numbers and you know anecdotal you know, patients that have done well. Those types of things. The stem cells are basically just a, a barrier and a or not a barrier. Um, they're just going to help with what the work you're already putting in, right? Because I also tell them, look, it's not a magic shot. You're not going to get these and your, your legs are going to turn on. So, um, and I guess I take it back to the, in the bodybuilding, you know, how we how we break down and repair our, our muscles. Is it essentially the same for our nervous system or is it kind of like already broken but the stem cells are trying to help? Yeah, I, mean, I think it's unknown. I mean, I've talked to a pharmacist who is postulating that it could be when you have a fracture like that, a spinal cord injury. There's damage to your cord, which is, you know, damage to the cord, the blood supply, and all those things to the cord are damaged. And the ability of the cord to repair nerves is not great. So his theory is kind of with this inflammatory issue is when the inflammation gets kind of out of control in the bad way. Things don't heal well, they don't repair. If you can modulate the inflammatory process around that spinal cord, then the body hopefully can do its own work to do that. So Stem cells may not be doing stuff directly to it. They may be modulating your body's own ability to repair itself better. I think that needs to be teased out as far as the mechanism and how this stuff could be working when right. this type of an injury. But, um, yeah, it's interesting. Something's happening. What's up, killers? It's me and Maddie out here in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Look at all this snow, y'all. This is the first time I've ever experienced, like, real snow like this, and I think it's pretty cool. Just to leave and read you medical, where we knocked out the first part of my procedure, I got some blood drawn, uh, we did some shots up and on my back of Dextrol to cause the inflammation, which is gonna help my body get itself into heal repair mode. And then we did the shockwave therapy as well as the PRP, which is like blood platelet therapy, re-injected near um, my pelvic floor and all that good jazz. The snow stuff is real cool and all, but uh, to push a wheelchair in snow and slush, I got stuck multiple times. Multiple, just spinning. What am I gonna do? And then my hands get frozen because they're all blocked up with ice. It was ridiculous. What's up, y'all? We're about to leave out from Reju Medical. Just came get my last treatment for today. Uh, today was actually really awesome. We um, did a podcast with Dr. B, so y'all be on the lookout for that. I got to meet someone that was so inspired by my videos and saw the potential so they were able to come and get their son a treatment so shout out to seth hopefully he sees some gains real soon we're gonna go meet up with them in a minute all right i'm going into round three of the stem cells i'm gonna let dr b take it over and kind of explain to y'all what's about to happen yeah we're about to do a bone marrow harvest to get the bone marrow concentrated cells out so from here we basically will draw the cells out of the pelvis that's the best place to get those nucleated cells from those would then be taken from here over to the lab where the lab will process those get those re ready for re-injection so this part should go pretty smooth. What's up, y'all? So we just got the, the stem cells harvested, or they put a little auger looking thing, stuck it in my lower back into my pelvis, took the bone marrow out to where they could extract the stem cells, and now we're gonna get my blood drawn. I got my pimp juice. They're about to they're about to reinsert my pimp juice back into my 
like I guess my back, you know, near my injury level. So what's like the 10x mean? It's just the different um, concentrations when they process it. Mm -hmm. There's different um, different ways that they process it. There are different strengths. He's gonna mix your PRP with your stem cells and reinject back into your thoracic spine level and around it, mm -hmm. above and below and on. Well, here at his third round of stem cell treatment over at Rejuve Medical with Dr. B. Sam, wanted to ask you, how do you feel? Dude, I'm freaking, I'm excited, nervous, pumped up, uh, mixture of emotions, but overall, super excited and grateful. What are your hopes out of uh, this third round of stem cell treatment? I just want progress. Uh, I don't necessarily have a definite idea of what that looks like because uh, things have been starting to change really rapidly, so I'm not going to set my bar too low. Do you have any time limit on these expectations? I think I'll start seeing differences within the first six months. Uh, that's how it's been the past two rounds. First six months, I start to see things wake up. What's your highest expectation for the third round of stem cells? I'd really like some better bladder control um, and a lot more cognitive ability to be in tune. Um, I've been able to get a lot stronger uh, with the spasticity and, and starting to improve endurance. But I'd really like to start focusing on the mind-muscle connection and really just getting in my brain to my body as best as I can. Amen. And our animals out. Crib tip of the day, preventing pressure sores on long road trips. If you sit in a position too long, your body will start to lose blood flow in that area, causing what's called a pressure sore, which is basically a part of your body decaying, which is disgusting. And I've had to deal with one. And it took me out um, about a year, um, you know, in and out of the hospital it was terrible. Uh, actually, it was on the way back home from the last stem cell treatment. I was already developing one. Uh, it was a small blister, and I didn't know what it was, so I didn't really pay much mind at first until, um, unfortunately, I came back home, and I was like, what's this blister doing getting bigger? And, yeah, a year-long fight. Don't get pressure sores. Thank me later. Um, so, anyway, let's, you know, be very mindful about that, that offsetting, that pressure offsetting, and also stretching. So right now I have my heels elevated to allow some great blood flow and stretching out my hamstrings because I've been sitting for a little while. One of the biggest battles I've had to face with paralysis is definitely the spasticity. Um, at first when it was super uncontrollable, that's when it was the worst. Uh, you know, I would like freaking be yelling at my legs and it's like you yelling at a door for it to close. They just wouldn't operate, wouldn't work. So that would just frustrate me even more. And... Uh, now that I'm able to leverage them, they've gotten a lot stronger. I wanted to touch in and remind y'all how important it is with stretching that that also reduces the spasticity level um, and it, it just allows the, the muscle ability to stretch, you know, not lock up because we're sitting all the time, like our hamstrings are always um, shortened and um, it's, it's good to stretch everything out as much as you can. I've also been stretching out my feet kind of like rolling my ankles to keep in good movement in that area right now we're in bumfuck egypt uh, arkansas i think all right so we are on what what is it day seven of this excursion we are shooting out from uh, jonesboro arkansas i think we went spend the night at my uh, cousin anna's and trent's house shout out to y'all for letting us have a little pit stop absolutely awesome because oh who's tired um so they hooked it up, they made us dinner and all that good jazz. So we ate, chilled a little bit, took a little power nap. So now it's uh, about 6.30. We're going to run it back to, to the good old boot. We're on the road again. We done put about 850 miles to this thing. Uh, now we got another 500 or so. So about to get it. Such a beautiful day for the animal to return home.